Welcome back at Traffic Glows. My name is Soraya. My name is Kenny. And today we're going to take you on a mouthwatering adventure uh, for all our fellow travelers and foodies. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the Argentine diverse cuisine. Um, so we're going to talk about in today's video about the 10 must drinks and foods yeah. we think you must try when in Argentine. Um, let me give you a little hint. It's not just steak, but a lot of meat is involved. Argentinian cuisine is a mixture of a lot of different cuisines, such as Spanish cuisine, Italian cuisine, and even German. Throughout the video you will see these kind of different cuisines coming back. Of course Argentinian food is much more than these 10, <laughs> these 10 different uh, food slash drinks that we are going to show you. Uh, but these 10 we believe you need to try when traveling through Argentina. At the end of the video, we will share two amazing experiences that we had uh, while traveling in Argentina. And so make sure to stay to the end. And for now, let's get started. And we'll start with my favorite, steak. Steak again. Argentinians consume more beef uh, per capita than any other country in the world and we have seriously experienced this after four weeks traveling we were even fed up with the steak but the steaks everywhere is delicious <laughs> yeah. from north to south the capital okay great Argentina is seriously famous for its uh, beef for the tenderness <laughs> You like talking about steak, right? Yes. <laughs> um, and then you have also the so-called asados. That's like, I would call it a barbecue kind of thing with different kind of meats. Yeah. We experienced this twice. It's really good. One with a guide and one uh, was the experience that we will tell about uh, at the end of the video. Yeah. And another really important thing to know when trying steak in Argentina, um, Argentinian folks like their steak well done and when we say well done we mean well done yes <laughs> yes so if you don't like uh, well done or if you prefer your uh, steak different like medium rare or rare or whatever just ask and they will provide the right color yes Milanesa Milanesa looks like uh, a bit of a schnitzel uh, but, Pizza. <laughs> uh, but it's, a, it's a bit different. Milanesa a la Napolitana is a very common preparation in Argentina, which is uh, usually topped with ham, bacon or cheese. Um, and they think that it it's originated from the Italian immigrants that came to Argentina in the past. So there are a lot of immigrants in Argentina. They came uh, with all their culture and heritage and therefore also their food. Its name probably comes from Cotoletta alla Milanesa, a dish from Italy, which is very similar to the Austrian Wiener Schnitzel. Pizza! Yes, for real. <laughs> As you said, Argentina has a lot of uh, Italian immigrants who came to Argentina in the 19th and the 20th century. <laughs> Today in Argentina, Italians are the largest ethnic group uh, of immigrants in Argentina. Around uh, 25 to 30 people linking their heritage some kind to Italy. Million. Million. <laughs> 
So that's a huge population if you think that uh, nowadays are 45 million Argentinians. That's a lot. With so many Italians arriving in Argentina, it's inevitable that they bring in the pizza culture. Um, around 1880, most of the bakeries and laterias in Buenos Aires were owned by Italians. Um, and the first pizzeria was opened in 1882 in the neighborhood La Boca. And from there on they developed uh, the pizzas and they are very very cheesy. Yes, so they have their own style Argentinian pizzas. Yes. So the next one on the list is the Choripan, which I absolutely love. It's a simple dish. It's uh, bread with between uh, sausage, uh, chor grilled chorizo, and traditionally um, there is one topping, it's chimichurri, but more modern um, places they serve also with a lot of other toppings and you know they really make a fest out of it and they were also delicious. They're really good. So, and the salsa they uh, comes with traditionally is chimichurri, just like the steak, chimichurri goes with so, a little bit of everything. But in these kind of hipper places, you have other sauces that you can put on. And for me, we ate at a place in the north part of Argentina, just a man, a simple stall. I don't even know if we can call it like that. It was like a tiny, tiny, tiny food car ish. Okay. And it was so amazing. Uh, it... Absolutely. Yeah. We ate too. Each. <laughs> Each. Yeah. And the price was really good because uh, we had four cherry pans, like the hot cloths plus yeah. one Coke, and it was like five euros something. Yeah. So. First cherry pan. Typical dish in Argentina. Okay, okay. It's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> okay. It's really hot. Should I wait a minute? So our next dish, empanadas, it's not, mm. not really a dish, it's more like a uh, street food, uh, really local. Little snack. Really little snack and it comes from Spain, obvious, and you have them through uh, whole South America. And in Argentina, every, um, every region has its own empanadas. Yes. So the name empanada comes from the Spanish verb empanar, that means to fill up bread and this is a must try in Argentina yes. and the fillings uh, originally is with ground beef, onions, uh, eggs but you have a lot of different fillings yeah. and they are fried or baked 
And it depends where you are, but we found some pretty good ones. So you're brave enough? Yeah. Empanadas. You eat them with your hands. So don't be a tourist. Salt? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> it's really good. So, you, every region has its own empanadas with meat or vegetables or we heard there are even pineapple with cheese. I haven't had that yet, but this one is really good. So next up are Alfa Horus, another one of my favorites because I really like my sweets. Um, Alfa Horus are little small cookies made of crumble bread with some um, jam yeah. smashed between it. Um, but there are also another differentiations, uh, variations uh, on the market which are, are often served with dolce de leche because our genes like their dolce de leche. Yeah, pretty sweet and um, not always but they uh, round it up with Talk cocos flakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. a good one. So, next up is helado. Helado is what they call in Italy gelato. So, ice cream. Ice cream. Um, in Argentina, they make it with whole milk, uh, which makes it a little bit more creamy and thicker. And they also use a little uh, artificial of preservations in it. And they love it so much, the Argentinian, that they you cannot you can. only order it by cup or cone, but you can also order it by the kilo, and we definitely saw people do that. Yeah, yeah. More sweet, media lunas. Ooh. So these are the Argentinian take on the French croissant, and they are a they are still soft, but a little bit sweeter and often taken with breakfast yes. and even though you can eat uh, the media lunas with ham and cheese what i really like because in my country we do that often the argentina prefer, prefer a little bit sweeter because the media luna is not sweet enough they add jam chocolate or dolce de leche but of course <laughs> it's so mu so many things next one the drinks we have two, and the first one is mate. In short, herbal tea. It is made of sleeping leaves uh, by, and then adding hot water. Let me say, you see this everywhere, everyone is drinking it. We tried it, but we are not that fond of it. So, both the preparation and the consumption of mate are a cultural uh, ritual. Mate contains 
cafe caffeine and is made with leaves that have a high amount of tannins. So it is a slightly so there's a slightly bitter taste and I think that's the reason that we just simply didn't enjoy it. Typically drank after dinner, but again we saw people drinking this like the whole day. They have cans with hot water with them and always pouring it in their cup. And preferable you drink the mate with something sweet, like an alfajore, for example. Drinking mate, there is a social aspect uh, with it. You do it with family or with friends, um, and there is there are some uh, rules in it. Um, for example, you drink from the same cup and you pass it through. And one of the most important thing is once the straw is in it, because you drink it from a straw, uh, so not directly from the cup, you don't move the straw anymore. So it keeps at the place that the one, the, the, the person who prepared it uh, placed it. Yeah. We have actually no idea why, so if you know, please leave the co in the comments uh, below the reason why we are not allowed to move the straw. And another funny fact I enjoyed hearing was that um, people are not really sure where it, where it came from, Mate, but they believe it comes from Syria. Yes. Very bitter. So the last one is why. There are various regions where they made and or produce um, wines. The most famous one in Argentina is Mendoza. However, we wouldn't be us if we didn't go to another place. So we went to Cafayette. And there they also have some beautiful wine houses. Wine is about taste and it's just simply something you need to figure out by yourself. So, yeah. So, and it can be different from what we like or uh, what you like. Yeah. But we love this region. Uh, to try it because it's more secluded, it's smaller and more authentic. Yeah, so it's definitely worth the trip. So if you're short in time, it's okay to skip Mendoza and try coffee yet. Or yes, because there are fine breweries or not. Um, there are fine uh, wine houses uh, <laughs> over there, yeah. um, and it's not part of the wine, but it's more to the south. In part, uh, for example, in Patagonia, they drink more beers, yes. and we visit a couple of breweries, yeah. and that's also really fun to do if beer is more your kind of thing. So these were the 10 uh, foods and drinks that we really would recommend for you to try when you are in Argentina. Yeah. But then we have two food experience that we absolutely loved. So the first one is Fogo Asado and I'm not gonna give away too much of it but it's an 8 course dinner and it revolves a lot about meat. So if you're a meat lover like us, uh, like me. Absolutely go to it and enjoy yourself. It's a very nice experience. Um, we did it during our day trip, night yeah, day trip that you organized for me. And Date, not day. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was very special. Yeah. They make a whole experience out of it. You sit in a square and you can see the people preparing it and they tell you a lot about the food and different 
combinations uh, of the wine. So yeah. absolutely check it out and do it. Yeah, yeah, because you're sitting with a maximum of people, I think around 20, and you sit all around this, uh, uh, yeah, where they make the asado, so the grill. Yeah. And you have some grill masters and he or she will explain and prepare everything and it's absolutely fabulous and you also make your own chimichurri so that, yeah. that was a fun uh, thing to do then the second one i i was a bit sick to be honest so but it was still really cool it was in iguazu so nearby the iguazu falls and it's it's the it's called the argentinian Exper argentinian experience and that's about food as well, <laughs> who figures. And you make the avocado as yourself, you make your own cocktail, you make your own uh, empanadas. Your own empanadas yeah. And you try a lot of things. And what I loved about this is that they could really explain to you what it means if you eat your meat well done or rare, or how does it look, the different empanadas and the whole aspect of the mate drinking. So it was just, the whole experience was really cool. And another big bonus I thought is meeting fellow travelers who were exploring Argentina so we could hear what everyone was doing and everyone had another itinerary so yeah. that was really fun uh, and I got really inspired so yeah if you're going to the Iguazu Falls uh, make sure to check this one out because it's amazing so that's about it for today uh, and hope you enjoyed uh, this movie if you like those kind of movies there are more out there out there Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye bye! bye.